A very warm welcome to all. This is Mrs. G. Bonapriya, MCOM MPhil, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Hosur. In this video, we are going to see Introduction to Group Behavior. First, what is group behavior? Group behavior in organization tends to, to follow the organizational norms and rules wherein the employees are expected to be disciplined, follow orders and work to the requirement of the organization rather than their own whims and fancies. Indeed, the extreme form of group conforming to the common codes of behavior is the armed forces wherein all members at whatever level they are in are expected to follow the orders of their superiors. On the other hand, organizations such as Google and Facebook are less hierarchical and less structured with employees being allowed to work on their pet projects for certain period, week, period every week. The difference here is that the armed forces and many organizations, the boss is always right whereas in, in the startups. And the new economy or the knowledge sector, the rules tend to be less rigid. Significance of studying group behavior. Understanding human interaction, studying group behavior provides insights into how individuals interact, communicate and influence one another within a social context. It explores the dynamics that shape collective behavior. Organizational performance, Groups are integral to organizational structure by understanding how groups function. Organization can enhance teamwork, collaboration and overall performance. Group dynamics impact productivity, creativity and decision making. Leadership and management. Effective leaders recognize the importance of group dynamics in influencing employee behavior. Studying group behavior helps leaders develop strategies to motivate lead and manage team more eff effectively. Social and cultural implications. Group behavior is a fundamental aspect of society and culture. It influences social norms, traditions and the way people relate to one another. Conflict resolution. Groups may experience conflicts due to differ differing perspectives, goals and interest. Studying group behavior equips individuals with the knowledge of skills and to ma manage conflicts uh, constructively, fostering a healthier group environment. Decision making processes. Groups often engage in decision making. Understanding group behavior helps uh, to identify factors that influence decision making within a group, including a group link, consensus building and the impact of leadership styles. Team building. It, in organizational settings, effective teamwork is vital for success. Studying group behavior aids in designing team building strategies, fostering a positive group culture and improving overall team cohesion and performance. Individual and group identity. Group behavior influences individual identity and vice versa. Psychological aspects. Group dynamics have psychological implication affecting individuals, attitudes, perception and behaviors. Adaption and change. Groups adapt to external changes and challenges. Studying group behavior provides insights into how groups respond to change, innovate and evolve over time, contributing to organizational adaptability. Types of groups. There are formal and informal groups. First, formal groups. Formal groups are intentionally created with an organization to accomplish specific tasks or objectives. Uh, if for example, team project, work units, committees and task forces are common examples for formal groups. Informal groups, while informal groups may not have a specific organizational goal, they fulfill social and emotional needs of their members. Examples for informal groups is lunch groups, friendship circles, interest based groups and examples are examples of informal groups. Uh, task groups. Task groups are primarily focus on task achieving the performance and productivity goals. For example for task group is project team committees assigned to solve a particular problem. Your work groups with a specific desirable are task groups. Social groups. Um, so the primary focus of social group is on building relationships, mutual support and creating a positive social environment. Example for social group is lunch group, informal clubs and recreational teams and ex are examples of social groups. Reference groups. 
Individuals use reference groups as benchmarks for evaluating their own beliefs, values and achievements. Professional associations, clubs, social clubs and industry specific groups can serve as a reference groups. Stages of group formation. There are five stages in group formation. First, we'll see forming stage. Forming stage group uh, members come together and become acquainted. They are often polite and cautious testing and wa testing the waters to understand the group's purpose, structure and their roles within it. Storming stage. Storming stage is marked by increased conflict and comp competition among group members as they start to express their opinions and why for influence and control. Differences in goals, personalities and working styles may become apparent. Norming stage. The norming stage is characterized by resolution of conflicts and the development of norms and shared expectations, group cohesion, strengthens and members begin to accept and appreciate each other's contribution. Performing stage. Performing stage is when the group operates at its highest level of efficiency and effectiveness. Members work together seamlessly to achieve common goals and there is a high a high level of trust and synergy. Adjoining stage. This can be also say as morning stage. The adjoining stage is the final phase in group that have a specific task or project. During this stage, the group disbands and members may experience a range of emotions including a sense of loss or achievements depending on the group's success. This video ends here. We'll meet in next video. Thank you.